Good afternoon guys, it's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm doing a, um, a quick creation for you again. I just uh, had some lovely runoff off a pour that I did in the yellows and um, berry delicious and I thought I just want to try it. I'm only trying it on this 20 by 25 canvas just to see if I can get it to work this time. I have the leftover colours that I previously used. They are all the Montmart. Oh, where we go? Where we go? Montmart Studio Acrylics, beautiful, creamy, thick, lush paint mixed with my uh, clear PVA Montmart clear PVA and glue. It. I, I do it. I pre-mix these bottles at 70-30 mix. My pouring recipe and the instructions for what I do and how, how I add it to my acrylic paint are in the drop down box. You'll either see a little V or a descriptions or if you, I think I was told if you press on the title like that, you'll get the drop down box. So that's what I was told. So these are some leftover colors. As I said, I'm just trying this quick creation to see if it works with what I have left so that's the bright yellow and I'm going to just got a bit of orange so I'm going to do a ring pour with just this little little canvas so I'm just I'm not running it down the sides like I normally do I'm just pouring it in this way uh, because when I just had some leftover colors and I tried it just turned out beautiful so I think it was more so the particular colors that were mixed so I have that finished. I'll put a bit of just plain old brilliant white in there. Fill it up. I will put some more. This was all different yellow, but I just put different amounts of white in it. I just mixed it with a bit of white to dull it down. So that's a bit more yellow. And the same with this was orange and I added the white to dull that down a bit which I normally brighten it up but particular one go back to this yellow again because I've got it left and I did add well, I'm going to add this was a color I didn't add previous so this is the Montmartre Crim Crimson haven't done anything to this one I'm just pouring it in so so I might add a bit of that lovely kind of dulled down orange orangey yellow and my final color which is my very delicious my um, custom color which is the I'm call I'm christened it very delicious it's kind of um a, a dark cherry plummy crimson whatever um, so I make this up out of the, the darkest red you can even use the crimson and then add phalo blue and a blob of black and it makes this gorgeous so I'm just pouring this from a height because I kind of want it to go right the way through the paint okay now I probably should have added some of that in the bottom of it too but never mind I'm going to use up this bits around the edge so I haven't got to think about pouring it over the edge not that I worry about that because it it's nothing that you can't fix up afterwards your edges so don't stress out or try and tilt paints to cover edges then you can lose some beautiful looks in your paint just trying to cover an edge so don't worry too much about it because you can always fix it up always a solution to a problem i believe okay i'm just trying to get every last bit of paint so you utilize every last bit of paint that you have good idea i think that's all good 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 so I'm going to do this in the circular yeah that's a bit too could have probably just try and pinch the end a little bit let's see what I get anyway so doing it in the ring 
oh I love this color so much you know you have a favorite color of the moment and this berry delicious is mine at the moment I mean I love color full stop but just loving this color this week so there is um, two drops of the Helmar silicon that's what I always use and it's in every uh, I'm getting a lot of questions is it do you only put it in your one cup or two I, I just put it in every cup because when I make up paints I make them up for several pours not just one pour so, so I don't measure anything everything's by eye and from what I can feel like is it you know texture or the thickness of the paint for a particular pour so my craziness Ooh, come on it's got like a real shimmery look in this and yet there's no metallics in it and today um, here in Australia it's a Sunday afternoon and this morning we were actually in Australia they've, they've um, relaxed some of the conditions of the lockdown for the um, coronavirus so today we were actually allowed to go to a park or beach and even sit and um, I'm not sure if we can have picnics today but I know that they're going to bring it out in the week but we so we headed down to our beach at Coolum Beach which is one of the beaches close by um, and just to watch the ocean and feel the sand in your toes was pretty special and I could see so many families enjoying the same simplicities. Thinking that I want to just add a little bit of that crimson again to this what's left here because I just know that I'm going to tilt most of it off so I probably shouldn't have stopped there but I'm just trying it's just another quick creation to try I know it's looking mostly dark but I'm absolutely certain that when I come to tilt off we'll get the um, the oranges and red come up in this let's do it higher and see what we get higher and quicker see if it makes any difference I'm really because I've got um, silicone in this there will be cells pop up so I want to try and get like a 3d effect where the cells look as though they're floating in the uh, rings so wish me luck you just got to give things a try I believe and not stress out about its outcome and certainly don't aim for perfection with um, acrylic pouring you know just relax and enjoy okay should I or shouldn't I yeah just a little bit left in there so I'll just go around the very edges it's all good Wowzers. Let's look in. Very sunsetish. Is sunsetish a word? Just want to try and do this very slowly so it sort of has its time to develop. Now somebody, some neighbour kindly coming out with a whippersnipper, but you know, that's life. I haven't got a soundproof room so. You know I'm not a machine. <laughs> it's just true life. Oh, I don't want to lose too much of that gorgeous crim or oh, crimson, um, luscious, berry licious would have liked more of it in the center I suppose I have got a little bit there I could put in not really keeping a ring am I but those 
will lines will define a bit more as it kind of very sunsetish sunsetting sort of I wonder if I oh should I do it no maybe not I'll just pour a bit through here just the last bit of the berry really would like to put some in the middle I don't want to okay I'm going to leave that I'm going to um, get my wonder wand and give this a little now I'm really I do want the cells to come up in this because I have put silicone and I know that normally they look like they're kind of 3d floating there just slowly heating your paint up continue to develop and the cells will pop out and as you see they kind of look as though they're just floating in oblivion I'd have liked a few more cells to come up through the darker but um, I'll give you a close-up of this they do start to pop out giving it half an hour to develop the <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me those cells will pop out but they're nice little cells actually, cells within cells, they're gorgeous. Okay, that was a quick and simple um, ring pour, just with those kind of sunset colours. Let me know what you think, it's just a real simple, probably a great pour to do if you're a beginner. Um, and I just wanted to see what those colours come out. As you see, it's developing right while i'm talking we'll wait till the end and i'll put some photos on at the end and yeah let me know what you think just a quick creation i have a playlist of quick creations if you're looking for uh, videos under 13 minutes you will i will put a link on to quick creations on my um on the feed on this on this video so you'll be able to click on quick creations if it's what a quick video that you're looking for and um, very good beginners one quite nice and satisfying to do oh yeah the colors are popping now see all those cells <laughs> probably too many go over the top so thank you guys until next time thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed i'd really appreciate it if you did it's free bye for now